Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my September favorites. I feel like I haven't done one of these videos in a really long time, like a favorites video. So I would just wanna see how it goes and see if you guys like these types of videos. So let's just get started with all the things that I have. I've mentioned a couple of these things already on my channel, so I hope it doesn't feel repetitive. So let's just get started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe down below. Um, there's a bell notification button so that you get notified when I post. As you guys saw in my last video, I decorated my office a little bit more. Um, I still have the pumpkins there and my candles and everything. I'm still trying to look on Pinterest and like see what kind of inspiration I can get to really decorate my room, my office, and make it look really cozy and homey for fall so um yeah if you guys have any ideas please leave them down below in the comment section for me because that said i've been buying candles and i've been so obsessed with candles um and the one that i have been just using non-stop since i bought it was the relaxed lavender and cedar wood candle by the aromatherapy line at bath and body works so this this candle i like i know everybody says this but i really wish you could smell this through the screen this candle smells so good it smells um like lavender and cedarwood obviously but it's got a very like vanilla warm tone to it as well it smells like essential oils it smells healthy like i don't know if that makes any sense but it just smells like a healthy soothing very calming scent but i have it in the um bed spray the pillow spray i have it in the candle i have it in the shower steamer pod and i also have it in a body cream so if you can't already tell like i really really recommend this fragrance to anyone who likes to wind down with a really um like soothing fragrance um this was i think it was 24.50 for the three wick but i'm pretty sure i got it on like a sale or something i think the bath and body works candles the three wicks are like 12.50 right now okay, so the next thing is actually the top that i'm wearing i got this top from Sears and I I know I just like recently got it but like I love it so I wore it yesterday in um when I went to Melrose because I went to go visit the milk bar LA um and I love this top like this quarter sleeve buttons it just fits at a really good length it's not too long and it hits me at such a like almost like short like croppy length but it's not like a crop top you know so I really really love the way this like fits and feels it's a really great top especially to transition into the the fall because this morning I woke up and it was like 65 degrees so the weather is definitely getting cooler in LA and a piece like this is just perfect to pair with jeans which is what I'm pairing them with today um, but I've also dressed them up with like gray wide leg trousers so it looks really good um, I'll try to leave a link below but it's by the brand Lands End and I got in a size small so let's go on to more makeup stuff I have been obsessed with my Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation like I don't know why it took me like so long to like get this foundation but it costs like 70 bucks after tax so it's a really expensive foundation uh, but my boyfriend bought it for me so every time I use it I'm like it reminds me a lot of NARS Sheer Glow. NARS Sheer Glow has a little bit more medium coverage and a little bit more dewiness to it. It doesn't dry down as um, well as this one does, I would say. I love the consistency and the finish of this one. I feel like my skin always looks healthy, but it's not, it's super buildable, but it's when I do just one layer foundation, which is typically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis, like it just shows through, like my real natural skin just shows through, which I love. So I highly recommend this foundation if you haven't picked it up already and if you're looking to invest in a good foundation check out the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk mine is in the shade number six so continuing on with makeup, I have been super duper duper obsessed with the Sigma Warm Neutrals 2 palette. I know I know I talked about this before on my channel. I'm wearing it today. Again, I'm wearing Toasty and Bittersweet. But I saw Lydia Elise Millen wear this, um, wear this eye palette. She was doing like a sponsored video with Sigma. And I was just like, oh my gosh, it looks so good on you too. So I know that it's pretty universal. Like this eye palette is such a universal like shade range for a lot of people to be able to wear this you can create a really cranberry smoky eye with this as well as like a warm bronzy tone eye um, you can do a very light pink tone with passion fruit beaming and charmer here like there's so many different eye look and eye combinations you can do i typically on a day-to-day -day basis only wear two eyeshadows one in the crease and one on the lid and then whatever my highlight is i'll just wear it underneath my brow bone and around my cheekbone so like it's it's a very easy palette to use very user 
user friendly. This has surprised me more and more as I keep using it. So I just really recommend it. I'm gonna be wearing this every day for fall. I already know that. And I wore it pretty much every day of September so far. Um, again, like I said, I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. I really like it. I don't know. I feel like I can create a lot of looks. It comes with like a huge mirror in the front, magnetic closure, soft matte touch a little bit. So. Yeah, I will leave a link to this below as well. And then the last makeup favorite I have is my lip combination that I'm wearing right now. So I actually get asked a lot of questions about my lip combos and like what I'm wearing on my lips because I don't really go for like bright red lips. Um, I typically wear like very beigey nude um, and slightly browny like burnt brick tones on my lips. So if that sounds like you, I would check out this lip combination. Um, it's the Marc Jacobs O Coco Lip Liner um, that I have all over my lips. And then I'm wearing the Very Victoria Lipstick um, from Charlotte Tilbury. I've used this quite a bit. I only have like almost like half, I'm like almost halfway done. I've used this for a while now and I'm very, very, very happy with this shade. It's a very pink toned beige, like a pink toned nude, um, a little bit more mauve but like a little bit on the pinkier side. And then, and then on top of that, I have the colored gloss by Victoria's Secret in Undressed. Now I know we've changed the entire like lip range line, so I don't know if we have this exact same color gloss anymore. So if I can find the Undressed shade, I'll leave a link as well down below. I'm still reviewing the Victoria's Secret makeup line. I want to give you guys a really good in-depth review, so I don't know if I should do a full video video because it's only a couple of products or if I should just mention it in something so um, yeah if you guys really want a review on the Victoria's Secret makeup line please let me know down in the comments below too I have been so 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 thankful to this product to this next product that I'm gonna share with you because I actually broke out pretty bad through the month of September and like it's worse than my regular like hormonal breakouts so I was gifted this product by wish trend and I know when you hear the word like you were gifted something like like, you're supposed to always give it a good review, but like I don't believe that. I think I can give an honest review even if I was gifted something. When I'm gifted skincare, I do want to try it out because I have acne prone skin. It's very oily. Um, I wear makeup every single day, like a foundation every day, and like I just want my skin to look and look smooth and flat. So this is the Tekka Barrier Cream by Wish Trend, and. I didn't understand what this was when I first like saw it. I was like, what does Tekka 1% Barrier Cream even mean? For all skin types, it enhances skin barrier function, soothing and anti-irritant effect. So this is supposed to be at your final step of your skincare routine and you apply a thin layer on an affected area. So it's like post pimple treatment. So for me, like I pop my zits, like I don't know about you guys, but I just pop my zits. Like I just can't help myself. It's not even like, I'm trying to resist popping my zits. Like I will pop a zit if it's like out here. And I know everybody says like, don't pop it, don't pop it, don't pop it. And it, and people are probably gonna leave comments down below too. Like don't pop your zits. And like as much as I wanna not pop them, if there's like a huge white thing on my face, I'm just, I'm sorry, but like I just, like I will like try to get the zit out because I just want it to be flat, you know? And then I'll put like a little pimple patch on it. You're supposed to put this on your zits afterward. And I actually have a lot of like jawline acne here. I'm gonna put in a clip and I'm super insecure about putting this in here, but um, I had regularly used this for the last 30 days and I'm not sure if I should give a full in-depth review or not, um, but I've been using it for the last 30 days and the post pimple effect treatment, this takes a while for it, you to see a difference, but it's really helped with my zits. Like I'm so surprised that it's kept my face pretty consistent. So I'm supposed to start my um, period next week and this is like a lot of information for you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I'm supposed to start next week, but my normally I get hormonal acne like right before the week before and my skin is looking pretty good for the most part. I don't know if it's exactly because of this. I haven't changed my diet, if anything. I had nachos today, so it probably has nothing to do with my diet. But um, yeah, my face has just been looking and feeling really good. So I'm not sure if it's because of this, but I use this day and night. I'm, it might be, but I've been using this. I've been using a lot of other Wish Trend products that I'm also reviewing. So if you guys want like an updated skincare routine as well, I'm like telling you like, if you want this, if you want that, like let me know in the comments down below. But like, yeah, for sure this, um, out of all the products that I've tried by Wish Trend, I highly recommend this one. Uh, Wish Trend is also sold at, um, 
Riley Rose if you guys want to like try out the product first. The next item is the Dear Claire's Soft UV Essence Everyday Sun Protector. I wore this in my chat to get ready with me. I wore it today. The thing is, I wear sunblock every single day, but I did notice that with all my sunblocks, especially like my Shiseido one, that white cast that the sunblock leaves is really frustrating for me because when I put like a foundation over, it slightly grays out my foundation. And I've been wearing the sunblock, this sunblock where it's water-based and it's clear. So when I rub it in, it's completely like, I'll show you guys, it dries, it's clear. I don't know if you can see that like little dot here, but there's like a little white dot right there. And as you rub it in, it just rubs in clear. It feels like moisturizer, it feel, it's not sticky, it's just, it almost feels like a slight, like a primer kind of. Has no scent to it. If you aren't wearing sunscreen, you need to be wearing sunscreen every single day to protect your skin, especially where the skin is really thin, like our eye area, and the sun can just age your skin like that. So just keep that in mind. So the last skincare item is the well talked about, very loved, super popular, on trend beauty item from the indie brand Summer Fridays. Summer Fridays was started by Mariana Hewitt and Lauren Gorse. I have praised their brand and their channel and them on my channel before, so I'm not gonna go back into that today, but I love them, I love their products. I have the jet lag mask. I've been doing the gentle exfoliant first and then I've been doing the jet lag mask after. A lot of people like this more than this. However, I have I've gotten two bottles of this. This is my favorite uh, like moisturizer slash overnight mask. Um, it's just like a really thick cream. Um, you can probably see a lot of videos and reviews on this one. This one here is a really thin, sheer consistency, but when I use it, I'm always surprised that my skin is so glowy afterward. I would definitely check this out if you haven't already. They are now in store at Sephora, which is amazing because they used to just be online. Now you can check it out for yourself. It smells like pumpkins, um, smells like a pumpkin spice latte. It's really nice. I'm so sorry, you guys. This lighting is really bothering me. I'm getting like all this like shadow on my face body and everything because of uh, my window outside. So I really hope this doesn't bother you. I'm so sorry. I'm like trying to move so that it doesn't like get away. After I do this, I pair it with this, um, which is nice because I, I wear this one overnight and I do this at night as well. So yeah, the Summer Fridays masks, really great. The last two items I want to talk about are fashion items. Um, and I've mentioned them on my channel before, so I'm sorry if you have already seen these items on my channel, but I just had to show them some extra, extra love. These are the Go Jane um, slides, these like little mule slides in a leopard print. I mean, do I even have to explain why I love them? Really, like you guys, like when, when you see this, you would immediately think like, oh, I know why she would love it. It's so minimal and it goes so well with like my outfits, my raw cut hem jeans, my straight Levi jeans. I wear with this on my feet. I wear with like something like this on top and it's just like the most casual but cute way to wear the leopard print without it being obnoxious and in your face like, I'm wearing leopard. This is just such a real, like basic, easy way to pair the, um, to wear the print this fall. Animal print is huge, I shared that in my fall trends video so I will leave a link down below as well to this item if you want to um, if you want to check it out it's not expensive whatsoever it's very very affordable which is um, something that I really really love about Go Jane they make some really amazing shoes if you really like search and dig through the site which is amazing and I not to mention I haven't seen a pair of shoes like these on in another company or like another brand before so um, I like finding like unique pieces like this so just keep your eye out for something like that and then the very last item that I wanted to share with you today is my True & Co um, bra, the True Body bra with the straps here, the adjustable straps. This bra, you guys, like, even though I mentioned it there, I have to reiterate, this bra really does feel like nothing. Like, I just wanted to mention that because, like I said in the video, during the fall and winter, I don't like to wear really bulky big bras right now. The bra I'm wearing right now is the um, T-back, the racerback, the pink one that I showed you guys, the True Body racerback bra. I'm wearing that right now under this shirt. And do you see how I'm getting absolutely no lines? Like, there's zero bra lines. Like that's what a bra should look like. It really actually feels very comfortable. It doesn't feel like a sports bra at all. It doesn't feel like it's compressing me. It's letting me be my natural shape, but it's just like an extra layer of skin. So I just wanted to show this some extra love because I really 
truly love this bra and if you're gonna get one I would recommend this style because you do get the cross back detail and um, you can like obviously adjust the straps to your shape so that is the last item you can always get 10% off the website with the code in my seams so those are all the items that I have to share with you guys this light is just really bothering me I'm so sorry that it's just kind of been crazy if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please subscribe down below again I make new videos every Monday Wednesdays and Saturdays for you guys so uh, make sure you are subscribed I will be doing vlogtober like I did last year but in the format of the week so it'll most likely be going live for my Saturday videos and I will be vlogging throughout the weeks of October and every Saturday will now be the vlogtober video I'll be doing two videos a week then plus the vlogtober to make it three so just make sure you're staying tuned on my channel to watch vlogtober this year and um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys all later bye Beep. Beep.